What is going on guys, Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video today. What I'm going to be bringing you guys is In the Mind of Apathy Episode 8. Yeah, some league match gameplay versus C9 the other day. That was some great gameplay to show you guys, teach you things uh, too on strategy and pro tips. You know how we do it out here. And this is going to be a dominant gameplay. So sit back, relax, and I'm going to try to teach you guys as much as possible. Haven't done a CTF gameplay yet. So this will be the first CTF gameplay on the In the Mind of Apathy. Probably, hopefully, I could cover them all, but... Off the break, all right, first of all, before I continue this video, you always want to push this left side. This kitchen side, second hard point, whatever you want to call it, is the right way to push uh, for both sides. This is the right way to push. The other way, glass, is pretty, pretty practically overextending. So right here, get a good position on assault, clean up the gunfight, push down the stairs. I know J-Cap's pushing up the base, which you can see in the mini-map, he's like on her flag. So I'm like, I'm going to push up, try to get a kill or two. Slasher tries to advance on the map. I believe he gets taken out. Havoc's just camping in the corner. Being a camper. So right here when you spawn out, like kind of to the left, elbow this, like exactly where I spawn. It usually indicates most of the time that there's someone either your mid doors or pushing up the right AC. So right here, I'm taking my time pre-aiming, you know, make sure I stay alive. And what do you know, I got, that guy must have came through either AC or mid door. Get a nice kill, get a nice two piece, and we have three dead. Now, a big thing about CTF guys, you always want to push for your team. But right here, I decided wall run because afterburner was banned. So not everyone expects you to wall run. It is harder to wall run without afterburner. So I decided to wall run to their base, get a good position. I decided to pull right away, knowing they're all pushed up. Assault must have spawned close, rotated back to his flag. Good play by him. And they pulled our flag out. Now, right here, Slasher has their flag. The flag got pinched. So I'm like, all right, I'm coming, Slasher. I'm coming, Slasher. Trying to help Slasher get this kill because this is a big kill right here. Flag guy tries to play his life. I managed to get flag guy. I get re, but I die right after. Now, this this kill for a slasher is so huge. Because if slasher would have died, they pull out, and it's immediately a stalemate. And maybe even a cap for them. Instead, slasher gets the kill, so we're secure. So right here, I spawn again to the left. Go to go, go help my teammates. Try, try to get the re, but teammates die. Decide to take this slow. Try to pre-aim, get a gunfight, get a kill. Unfortunately, could not make that happen. JPF gets one kill right here. Havoc still trapped there in the corner. Try to get gets the two piece, one more AC, one more pillar side or middle. I believe it's assault middle. So right here, assault kills John. V look, all right. So look at the mini map. My two teammates are advancing. I'm the only one in our base now. A, I can attack assault like a maniac and either try to world star him and get the kill, or two, I die and they get a pull. So what do you gotta do is play slow, play your life. It's so important in CTF to value your life more than any game type game mode. Value your life in general is really important. But CTF is probably the, the most important. So right here, John is just trying to help me out. Trying to make sure there's no one in the base. Make sure Assault's dead or if he's not dead. So we can't find Assault. They get two down. I decide to push up. Assault either rotated or camping in the corner. Whatever. I'm not going to waste my whole day on him. So I advance to the left side again. Which this is the way you want to be pushing. Spot Assault. Get the kill. Accident, accidentally fast forward it. Uh, so I smoke that. Decide to run out. Trying to play my life. You know, maybe juke him out. Havoc sees me slide, so he just kills me. I was weak already. So, respawn delay is really big in this. Remember, guys, CTF is really extremely important to value your life. I spawn the right side. Rotating is another big thing. But I, I noticed I had the perfect... If I spawn right and we have full control of our base, all we can hear is actually a pretty smart play. I can make something happen. But I think I, I heard someone middle. You guys can't hear right now. But I heard someone middle, so I'm like, oh, oh wait, let me check middle. And I catch one trying to sneak if it isn't happy. Now, Assault's on the right side. Now, Assault killing Slasher. Assault messed up because I think he auto mantled there. I don't know if you noticed. But as soon as Slasher died, he could have potentially gone for a pull. Look where I spawned. He could have easily pulled this out, got the flag out, but he does the wrong play. And this Assault did the wrong play right here. I don't think you ever watched this video. But he decided to cut the flag guy off. That was a bad play. He could have got the flag out, like, 90% sure. Instead, he tried to cut the flag off. I get an easy kill. And then we pretty much get a cap out of this. Like, they almost clutch up. Pop my kinetic. Get one. Put shots in this guy. But I'm not going to waste my time on him as soon as he ran away. And I just go for the cap. This could have been a stalemate or even maybe a cap for dumb. But instead, Assault played that kind of dumb in my opinion. You should learn from him his mistakes as well. So right here, I die. My teammates are rotating back to the flag. When you know there's people on your base, please rotate back to your flags. Don't be lazy. It's super important you do. Make sure you get those guys out of your base. It's extremely, extremely important. So right here, I'm 87. Got a cap in return. Uh, we know there's there's probably one or two in our base, but I'm not. we're not going to have three people stacked the right in the middle, right? So I'm going to hold left while day two work our flag. Spot one. I spot happy. But then a guy camels. 
So they're just they're just on their base. I decided not to shoot the camel guy right away because what's that gonna accomplish me? I'm gonna give away my position. And on top of that, I'm not even gonna kill him. He's probably just gonna pull either way and I'm gonna get traded. So instead, I played smart. Uh John kills one with heat wave, kills the camel guy with heat wave. I kill one. Just valuing my life right here, putting shots, waiting for my teammate, catch llama, running away. Pretty easy plays for the most part. Still up 1-0. Next side is where we really dominate, but pushing the left side again. This is the way you want to push. This is the right way to push. Easier, easiest way to get flags out as well. Me and Cap try to make a play here. I melted that guy. Cap must have helped me. But we they're all there's two left, but this this could have been a potential cap. It just went down south. I don't know if that smoke that smoke kind of fucked us, I guess. Because Happy got that kill. Big reason he got that kill was because of the smoke. He just ran into the smoke. But right here, up 1-0, uh, we're doing pretty well as a team. Playing well, playing smart, playing together. That's what CTF is all about. We're a really good CTF team for the most part. And it's because we're really good at playing together. And we just have good CTF players. So it was like 17, 80 seconds when I spawned up. There's no point in me pushing up. They still have a small chance of getting a cap. And I don't want to give a free kill. So I just, you just saw me at camp my base. No point in really pushing. So right here... We go to the next side, up 1-0. Not the biggest league lead, but it's something you can work with, right? So up 1-0 going on this next side. Same thing. We have a guy usually go middle, one guy going left to make sure no one's overextending, and two people go right. I don't always go bottom. I, I always switch it up. You never want to always do the same thing every start off because then people start catching up. But I decided to rotate back. I thought I heard someone sneak by or wall run. But this is actually the guy who was being sneaky, was happy, and he killed Slasher. I'm like, all right, this is the guy. I'm trying to kill him, spinning in circles. Thank God John saved my life. John gets killed by one up top. I'm like, all right, let me try to kill this guy. And I'm, I got so, so zoned out. I didn't see Havoc in the corner of my eye there. I just saw him right there. But I got zoned out, so I didn't get that kill. Now, we're still up by 1-0. Uh, obviously, they're doing a pretty good job of, you know, staying into the game. So we're, like, just grinding out these flags. I decided to peek middle. If you guys notice, as soon as I spawned up, I peeked left because they can get good timing on the spawns and still push OE. And then immediately I cut, and now I pre in middle because that's the next spot they can be. Unfortunately, I get kinetic. Uh, I believe this is where they get get a pull. So now you guys are going to learn from this play. So Jcap spawns OE. He's immediately, immediately pushing to our flag. He's the closest guy to pulling. Now they have our flag out. Jcap has camo. This is where you learn. Just pull the flag out. Stop thinking you're fucking Superman. Goku, Super Saiyan God, you're not, bro. You're not. Pull the flag out. Do the right play. The play is going to get you to win. He pulls out with camo. Shit starts to go down. Uh, Slasher trades the guy who kills the flag guy. John picks up the other one. I killed the side guy. Easily three down. Flag guy alone. I said a pinch and flag guy. I probably should have won this, but he was kind of pre aiming me. Half flag guy, one shot. Slasher comes to the back, gets the kill, gets the re. Now, this could have. He got the re. He's just glitched in theater. But this could have potentially been a tied 1 1. And this, this map could have been a completely different map. But thankfully, JCap playing it right, and we're playing, and we played it together. We, you know, helped them. We got, we got, um, we got a flag. So now we're up 2-0. At this point, they should have rotated back. Another bad play. I think only one of them rotated back, which gave Slasher pretty much an easy pull again. I pick up middle for him since I know he's gonna pull. I get to one kid middle. All I have to do here is watch his middle. There shouldn't be really no one behind him. I saw a shadow guy there. That guy's not coming anytime soon. And I'm just like circling middle. Only cut I really need to get. And I'm just camping the corner. I get I get a kill right here. And now we're up 3-0. So we went up 2-0. You know, they got greedy. Only one rotated back. I don't know the whole situation. I'm not going to say here, oh, yeah, they could have rotated back 100%. But they probably had a good chance to rotate back. Only one of them did. So now we go up 3-0. Now, at this point when you're up 3-0, it's very difficult to come back from a, from a deficit like this, right? Up 3-0 in CTF, you'd have to pull some miracle shit. So right here, we're just rotating back. You know, like I said, rotating back to your flag is really key to CTF. The things I always say, rotate back, value your life, and play as a team. That's like the three things. So right here, I didn't necessarily have to use Kinetic. But if there was another guy, that could have been a potential cap for Dumb. Especially since the guy was never killed on the other side of glass. So I just used it to make sure to guarantee that kill. Pretty much stop any push if they had one. Right here... I I should have died, man. My war run is elite. I should have 100 died. No, having no afterburner, like fuck me, right here. I'm like, jump up, jump up. They didn't want to jump up. I'm like, ah! And they didn't. I guess they didn't. Count. <laughs> I should have fell off, but they didn't count me for it here. So I I mean, I get a pretty much a pull. Slasher gets one to Serbia. I believe they kill another one in our base. And now I'm just gonna pull it OE. We have a guy pushed up like glass ish middle. We have two in our base for the Serbia. They the last two are probably pushed up. Now we get three down. This is another cap in the books. This is like the easiest cap. Now, 
Not necessarily saying it was a bad play on their part because they, they went for a push. They weren't going to chase me. They didn't even know where I went. I didn't even know where I went. I just got lucky with the wall run. But, you know, they just had to win the good fights in their base. If not, and, and I got to their base, so it's pretty much a cap. Right here, this guy wall runs high. It's fucked. Did not expect that. I die. We're up 4-0. Oh, we're really good at CTF. Uh, if you guys saw in Anaheim against Rise, we won Stronghold, I believe, 5-0. We're really good playing with each other, really smart when like went to pull, you know, playing timings and playing together for the most part. So I think CTF is definitely one of our strong game modes. The only map we need work in is on fringe. I I almost spawn actually I do I do spawn kill happy. Havoc and happy spawn in front of me. I kill happy, havoc rushes me, kills me. That was crazy how they spawn literally in front of me. So right here, you pull OE. It's another cap in the books. Of 5-0. At this point, it's game. Whole team played well. We played as a unit, shut shit down together. Right here, I smoked the cross for him. Just make sure he has it out. Pick up his middle. J cap picks two. I'm just saying a lie. Make sure I hold his middle. That's all I need to do. That's three dead. Last kid's happy. This is pretty much GG's from here. Just holding up his middle. Watch his peek is back. Make sure he can't get a pull. Going back with him because that's the only way to kill a fly guy. I believe happy kills one. Cam was right here, but he was a little bit weak. So I just pre fire. Had no auto aim at the start, but I make sure I clean up that kill. Up 6 0. Pretty dominant game. Uh, if you guys notice, we the right way you want to push is always that right side. The only time we push left is if we spawn close and we had control of our base and a little bit extra. Then you can kind of push that left side. You know, we had that positioning, but that's not always going to be the the whole. That's not always going to be the plan. Like usually, uh, I don't want to talk about that, dude. Assault a joke. I'm kidding though. He he played that good. But usually we push the right. This is the right side. This is the way you want to push. Overextend. It depends in the, of the situation. You shouldn't always overextend. But we had a dominant game. 1-6-0 against C9. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Hope you guys learned a couple things in this ETF EVAC. Remember guys, three important things. Value your life. Rotate back to the flag, especially if you can. Stop being lazy and play as a team. Wait for each other. Don't expect to push by yourself. Kill the whole team. Kill them again and get a pull. You're not going to do shit like that, dude. Those are the three ways to succeed at CTF. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's gameplay. This has been your boy Apathy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Have a good day. Peace.